Larry, I, it must be great for you. There's so much mater in this film. Okay, he's just getting over that, guys. I, do we need to explain no, what you just did? Okay, no, let's do it. All right. Good thing we don't have oh, smell a vision. Okay, this is this is going well so far. So good. <laughs> I could do the whole interview like Charlie Callis. You well, could. Or Leslie <laughs> Nielsen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What Congrats. was your incentive for the movie? Well, here's what I when I thought about her. Excuse me. That would be a great interview right there. I'll um, tell you. Does Mater do that kind of stuff? Uh, it, yeah, Mater's funny. Mater would do that stuff all the time. I'm Mater, so I yes, know. he would do that. Well, that's why I want to. I mean, I want to know if he has to be restrained when he's. <laughs> that would be funny. Hey, Mater, what's this thing over here? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Let me check. Excuse me. <laughs> See, but it would work because he has an exhaust pipe. <laughs> exactly, he does. <laughs> See, now that would be funny. I would. That would be a good part of the. You and I will write the next Cars three. We should. We will. That do would that. be the whole movie. It would. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs those other cars? Okay, let's talk about this. This is great because and everybody's staring at it like this, except for mental patients. They're like, "Oh, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen." <laughs> There's a lot of meaning in that. There is. There's a lot of mater in this film. How excited were you to get started on? Cars Very two? excited. I mean, I was when I found it was going to be number two. I was so looking forward to it. I mean, it's a not. It's not only is it a cool thing to be in a Pixar movie, but be like a main character. Yeah. It's even better to be in two Pixar movies and be a main character. So it, for me, it's awesome. Yeah. I can't thank them enough. And I got to tell you, all the people there that I work with are awesome. Just a lot of fun, you know. They're all real down to earth folks. Yeah. So I think that's why I get along with them, and they get along with me. We're just regular, down to earth. They're good at what they do. Well, especially having a boss like John Laster. I mean, I don't think you can ask for anybody. No, there. he's like awesome. Yeah, greatest guy ever. And, and, and a real family man. And and, that, and that's why, I tell everybody, that's why Pixar does good. Nobody wants to disappoint the guy. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to half, half anything. You know, it's 110%. So they don't want to disappoint John. They get their jobs done, and they do really good at it. That's why they always keep topping every other movie. Yeah, they're, they're amazing. You're right, they do. And, you know, when you, I just don't, you know, when you get into that voice booth, do you still, you know, is it something that you never get used to, or is it more fun or challenging to be by yourself? You know what? <clears throat> just more fun than anything else, you know. It's uh, the challenging. Look, a lot of people, I just got done having a conversation about this. It's not rocket science. Mm -hmm. I go in, I read lines. How do I get into character? I'm always in character. I've been doing it forever. I, uh, I grew up on a pig farm. I, you know, I've been doing my act yeah. like that forever. So yeah. for me, it's not hard to get into character. I just get in there and I read the lines. Yeah. The hardest part of a Pixar movie is bringing heart to certain lines. Yeah. That's the hard part. You can't, you, you know, you want to almost say it to where you almost make yourself cry sometimes because you, you, it's, you, you just, yeah. it's, you know what I'm talking about. Totally. And that's the hardest part about a Pixar movie, because you're not talking to anybody. It's just you and a microphone. John's telling you the scene, mm -hmm. and then you have to make it so. And you know you do good when he's smiling. He's like, oh, man, that's that's good. Yeah. We, that's it. That's the one. And does he let you ad lib, especially he, somebody like you? He lets me do whatever I want. That's awesome. He's John's always been a fan of mine and a good friend. You right. know, he comes to my shows and laugh. I mean, it's just, you know, it makes you feel good. Yeah. So, and not only him, but almost everybody at Pixar. If I'm ever doing a show out there, you know, the old departments will come hang out and just have a good time, yeah. you know? And uh, so, yeah, they're big fans and I'm big fans of them, but he lets me do whatever. He, he'll, he basically says, look, you're the character. You're breathing life into the character. Um, I kind of don't care how you get there, but mm -hmm. just get just whatever get that sentence is saying. I don't care how you arrive at that point. Just right. arrive at that point. How amazing! Yeah. Oh yeah, and then and then he'll tell you if you put too much of something, in, he'll go, okay, now don't do it. But we got enough of those. Do enough. We we'll do one of these, and then sometimes you'll do a completely different sentence, and he'll be like, ha, ha. you'll see him like, ha, that's funny. You know, he'll oh, that's good, that's rich. You know, that kind of thing, you yeah. know, so he lets me pretty much, that's what makes it real comfortable for me. He yeah. wants you to be comfortable, so. For sure. Now, because Mater gets to go to all these great places around the world, I would think that Disney sent you around the world to get into, you know, to get into this. Yeah, I went uh, to two international countries. I went to Miami, 
in L.A. <laughs> and uh, I learned a lot from this destination. So they didn't get to, you didn't, they didn't splurge for you, huh? <laughs> I gotta tell you, that's fine. I'm happy where I'm at. <laughs> You know, I can see it on TV. Yeah, I hear you. Now, my sister-in-law lives in Italy, mm -hmm. so I know a little bit about Italy. Mm -hmm. but, but it was great that, you know, it. with this character, he really keeps out of his element for a That's, well, that's cool. That's what helped me with that, you know, because I was seeing it for the first time as well. Yeah. So not only was Mater, in, Mater there and doing the scene, I myself saw it for the first time. Yeah. I mean, I've never been to a bathroom in Japan. I've heard about them, but I could actually see Mater go in and see all the stuff. So it was kind of cool that I was just seeing it for the first time myself because I get my voice and what I'm saying is an actual reaction, Yeah. you know? Yeah, now you have young kids. What do they think about dad's voice coming out of this car? My kids don't talk to me much. Really? Nah, I don't think they like me. I know they're young, but no, well, I come scare on. them. I think I'm overweight too much. Come on. Seriously. You've got to be a fun dad. I can't oh, imagine you not being a fun dad. They throw rocks at me. <laughs> They've threatened to call the cops. Do they? No. Yeah. No, my kids are awesome. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm kidding. My little girl's three going on four. My little boy's four going on Ridland. And, uh, <laughs> no, they're... Been there, done that. Yeah, no, they, you know what? They love it. They, it's every time Mater comes on. Like my little girl came up to me the other day and she said, uh, Mater's my daddy, <laughs> you know? Which, and the voice is funny because she's, you know, she's 21. But, uh... No, no, that it, would be your wife. <laughs> it's yeah, it's my wife. No, it's really cool. I mean, now that I have kids, I've been mean, the first one. I was just my one was only a month away from yeah. being born, but now that I actually have kids, and it's you know five years later or whatever it is, six years later, it makes five, it so five, much more special. I would oh, think. God, totally does. Yeah. It's awesome, and they they love those Pixar movies. You know, they love them. Obviously, Cars is their favorite, of followed by. Uh, Got to be Toy Story, Nemo. Got to tell you, I think it's followed by Incredibles. Okay, yes, that's a really good yeah, one. Yeah, they really like They're all that good. One. They're all good. But they are, they are fanatic yeah. cars. Uh, you name it, my little girl, my little boy, they got all the vehicles. and It's pretty awesome. You've been doing stand-up for a long time. I just always find stand-up comics, I have to commend them because I would think it's the scariest job in the world. Do you ever get nervous getting up on stage? You do every now and then. You get more, more not really nervous, you get just anxious to get on stage. Certain things you get nervous for. I did the largest comedy show in the history of stand-up yeah. last year, or two years ago. Mm -hmm. I did 53,000 people in Memorial wow. Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska, and I was a nervous wreck. Wow. So that I was nervous for. Stuff like that you're nervous for. But after I did that, anything else I'm not nervous for. When you do something you've never done before, that's when you get nervous. As far as regular stand-up goes, you go to the arena and do a show, yeah. I don't really get that nervous anymore. But... Uh, it's more anxious than sure. nervous, yeah. but well, uh, I enjoy every minute of it. I'll tell you that much. Well, we enjoy seeing you. You're great at what you do, and Thanks. I love Mater. It really always has been one of my favorite characters in Cars. So congratulations! Ah, and cool. We'll talk about that Cars three script, okay? Yeah, let's yeah. do. Okay, I'm in. I'm <laughs> we'll, in. We'll get her done. Get her done. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Thank That's you. Great. Thank you so I much. I appreciate Take it. Take care. Have a great day. All done.